Good morning guys. I think quiet because Daniel's still sleeping. Tom Singer's waking up at like 5 a.m. So then I'll never stay up whatever I can sleep. But then she'll sleep until like literally. I mean it's like almost 8 right now. But I'm gonna go to the gym. So I'm gonna change my clothes ready and then I'll talk to you guys on my way there. Guys, it is, it's freezing outside. I'm getting used to it being like warm here and there. I guess it was almost 70 today. It's supposed to be like 70, mid 70s. And that's how it's supposed to be literally this whole week which is really exciting but um hopefully it stays that way or else my skin's gonna be really confused when it feels cold like right now oh my gosh but on my way to on my way to the gym and today i'm gonna try and do arm back back in the car on my way home that was a quickie workout but I I mean I did quite a bit I, in that short period of time I, I've never been the kind of person to like take breaks in between reps and stuff like that I just am impatient just like when we done you know um, so yeah I usually just do them all in a row so um, I, this is all like a new habit for me, by the way. I used to work out before I was pregnant and then I stopped lifting weights when I was pregnant. So I'm just like getting back into that and I don't want to like hurt myself or like hate it and just like go ham right off the bat. So starting off little, but I guess I can share what I did. So I want to do yoga twice a week, weight training twice a week, and cardio once a week. So tomorrow will be cardio. But did yoga yesterday, and then today I did arms, back, and lower lab abs. So I did, um, and I did two sets of 10 for everything, except for the abs. So I did, um, I did tricep, I did bicep curls, and then I did those tricep, I don't even know what you call those, where you like throw your arm back and you like lean over on a bench. I don't even know what that's called. I did that for my triceps, two sets of 10. And then for my back, I did lat pull downs, two sets of 10. And then I did rowing. I did that for two minutes. And then for my abs, I did some Flutter kicks, scissor kicks, leg lifts, leg circles, all on my back and then stretched. So, yeah, quite a bit in 25 minutes. Just get her done, you know? All right, I'm having calls. And we are going to make our own sunscreen. So, oh. does it flip? Yeah, it's just oh, broken. Okay. It's broken because of me. Even better. Here, here. 
you have chips. Do you have chips? I don't know if you like those kind of things. I like them. I need chips. Okay. <laughs> They're really crunchy. So any chips that's really crunchy is my favorite kind of chip. Yeah. I love all chips. All you need for this is an oil that has a lot of SPF and we went with the red raspberry seed oil. And then we need a carrier oil or butter, so we need shea butter. And then zinc oxide. So I got all this from Amazon and we just split it and we're gonna make two There's some sunscreens. I know, I love them. And they weren't that expensive in the packet too, so. Okay. Right. I'm just like, let's get started. <laughs> you just put a half a cup of shea butter in there. And now it is a tablespoon of this. And there's a few different oils to choose from, but I think this one ranges from like 20 to 50 SPF or something. So. Mm. That sounds kind of good. Mm. I don't think it would taste good. It smells like red raspberry like tea, like the tea. Mm -hmm. Now two of the zinc oxide. Okay, right off the bat, downfall. There's not that much granola. Oh, yeah. Or toppings you're right. in general. Yeah, because the bowls are pretty small. So. There's like a lot more. But the, like, it's a smoothie. dome, so you think that like yeah, the lid is open. Yeah. But it's a dome lid, so they could totally. Totally pack on more. Yeah. Okay. Give it a little. Oh yeah, look, that is thick. Ooh. Good consistency. I feel like I need to get sure it's right in here. But sorry, I know your mouth is probably been watering. <laughs> Okay. I mean, it tastes just the. It's like a cinnamon granola or something. What do you have? Coconut, mango, goji berries, and strawberries. No granola? Mm-mm. I think it's pretty good. Mm-hmm. 
What do you think compared to Everbowl? Mm -hmm. As far as the base goes. I feel like the base can have a little more to it. I think this is a Pattaya base. Mine's a Sai. Or whatever, however you say it. It tastes a little cinnamony. I keep tasting it. It's not the granola? I'm trying to get no granola. Oh, and this has honey on top too. Mm -hmm. this, this is great. This smacks, actually. I think it's pretty good. It's pretty good for this outside. I'm and not mad. Smoothie King. Like, yeah. I didn't expect that. I don't really like their smoothies. Mm -hmm. wow. Okay, I'll be back. <laughs> guys we're back home we have been for a little while now but I just got dinner ready while Daniel took Thompson on a walk it's just some grilled cheese tomato soup which that's kind of hot but it's perfect timing huh look at this mess yeah hi Thompson hi Good morning, it's Wednesday morning. I'm about to go on a run, and I think the first run since I had Thompson because I'm just so scared my body and everything is gonna fall apart. So, here we go. I'm just gonna run a mile, maybe. I might not even be able to run a mile. I wanna actually run. So, we'll see how long I can actually run. Um, Thompson's playing with the door, but wish me luck. I'll report back here shortly and then we have story time and hanging out with Keaton and Lennon today our normal Wednesday things so yeah all right guys I made it 0.6 miles and that is it now we're gonna make some greens but yeah, I didn't want to make myself feel terrible, so that was the point where I was like starting to walk. Scoop of that. Then I was making Thompson breakfast right now. And make my greens. This morning, breakfast made by Daddy. It's eggs, spinach, grapes, yogurt, and I added some crushed granola to it. You want to eat? Please. Good job. Good time. I suppose this might be useful. Oh, it was? Yeah. When they reach in the bag. <laughs> then who's like, some people just like. Some more, babe? It's also a lot of. UV index of the year pretty much and that always happens to me so yeah I wasn't really sure if today was really gonna do that or not but sure did so um yeah we're headed to the park and then we have bible study tonight dinner, whatever we're feeling. So, 
excited for all of that, but today's been a really good day and a really good day spent outside. Um, it's just been so nice and it's gonna continue to be this way for the next few days at least. So, gotta love that. Um, also, I have some clips on my phone I'm gonna put in, or I have put in already that you've seen of today. Um, Lennon and Thompson were being so cute, just like chasing each other around the house. It was adorable. But yeah, see you at the park. Hello guys, good morning. It is Thursday. <clears throat> I was supposed to have yoga this morning at 9.30 and it's 9.20. I think I hurt my knee yesterday and I was really going to make myself go but then I did a couple poses and it feels like so weak. Like my knee would like give out if I put weight on it so I was like maybe not. Um, so I think it's from running yesterday. I don't, I don't even know but I should probably just rest it instead of push it because then that'll be the longer that I can't do anything exercise wise so um yeah so we're home Thompson's napping and I was just creating some mood boards for Nicole because I'm gonna be taking their family pictures and I returns one next month it's so crazy um so yeah I'm just putting together some fun little ideas well I mean she's the one that uh, started the inspiration she sent me a picture and I just went off of that um, so I'm gonna make a little clothing guide but got my coffee Daniel's in a meeting um, yeah but today I just need to get stuff done around the house so I might do like a really nice satisfying cleaning vlog for today um, Maybe we could do a little apartment tour too. We might be moving this year. I don't know if I've talked about that, but we might be buying a house. We hope to be buying a house and we're working towards that <laughs> um, early then, like this fall, end of summer. So um, it'd be a good time to give you guys a little, a little tour. So yeah, let's do a cleaning vlog, a little home tour today. And then, yeah, sounds like fun. So I just need to make a to-do list and all that, but Currently just taking it slow, drinking my coffee again in the cutest mug that Keaton gave me for my birthday. I love it so much. All right, Thompson's up from her nap. We both just had lunch and it's go time with the chores. So, laundry first. I always try and do a load a day. So, I think I'm gonna wash, um, I was gonna wash her clothes today, but, We'll see. Might add some of mine to the mix.
it is 5 p.m. We're gonna go. We took. We want to take a little break, and we're gonna go um, take some pictures with this camera, actually, because it's a big thing. I've seen it for a little while, but I haven't tapped into it with the G7X. I have a G7X Mark II, and I've had this for, I think like two years almost now. And I've never really taken pictures with it, so that's what we're gonna do. I just put on a little outfit. This is the new ASOS um, romper I got. This jacket from Target. It's actually from the men's section. Daniel wore it for our family pictures. I'll take my hair out when we get there, but, um, and this is from Target a few years ago as well. So, that's what we're gonna go do and grab an onion or a snack. <laughs> I need an onion for what I want to make for dinner, but I'm really hungry right now, so we'll see what happens. Alright, we got this dreamsicle little loaf. Delicious. Thompson likes it. And then I got a chocolate chip cookie and a cinnamon brown sugar cookie. Yeah. Good morning, classic. It's a new day and I didn't finish everything I needed to finish yesterday. Right. So gosh, I don't know where to put it. So I know you can't see me because, oh wait, okay, there we go. Anyways, I went to work out this morning and Daniel was home with Thompson, got her breakfast, played with her down here and all that good stuff. Got to toss these pods. Um, but now back home, she'll be taking a nap very shortly. I'm just gonna do some coffee first. Hang on, Thompson. I have to have my thing underneath it. Um, yeah, gonna make some coffee first, and then she'll probably go down for a nap, and then. I don't know. Yeah, so she'll go down for a nap and then we're gonna go see Sydney today. She has an appointment. Her baby's two month appointment is today. And then, um, yeah, press it right there. So we'll see what I can get done during her nap. And then we'll do the little tour that I said I would do. Okay, Thompson's down for her nap. And what has left to be done, that's not right. What's left to be done is carrying all the stuff off the stairs. Daniel's gonna help me. And then I'm gonna sweep and mop the kitchen. And then the tour will commence. Not much left to do at all. So, here. I'm gonna say finger your cross for me. No, cross your fingers for me. But I can get this done in like 30 minutes. It should not take long at all. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. But hungry.
Tour. I was just waiting for Thompson to wake up and she's awake. She is awake. Hi. Are you saying hi? Say hi. That was a good nap, huh? Hi. Hi, cutie. for the awaited tour and we're gonna be completely honest here and say my house is not perfect there's a pile of dishes in the sink there's laundry out ready to be washed and everything doesn't have a place but this is just real life so smile time for the tour all right so this is our front door right here we're gonna start it excuse you door we're gonna start it right here so you walk in <laughs> you walk in and straight ahead is this closet which is just a coat closet all right nothing too special about this just a coat closet and then this door is normally like that's where we walked in this is a half bath down here hello I actually love the decoration in here. Thompson's trying to shut the door on me. Mommy. All right, focus. This is going swimmingly. <laughs> this is going great, guys. All right, there we go. Okay, yeah. So you walk in, there's the closet, there's the half bath, and then this is what you see. This is our little entryway. And to the left is the stairs. We'll go up there last. But yeah, this is just where we put our shoes, hang up our keys everything like that and then right here is a huge closet it goes all the way back there it's under the stairs where we store a lot of our stuff where we have our bags and grocery bags daniel's climbing stuff jackets all that and then it just opens up to living room dining area kitchen so this is our living room and Again, that's where I came from. This is Thompson's little play area right here, as well as most of the shelf. But we've got a record player, that pretty painting I found at Goodwill, and then our couch TV area, which I love this couch. We actually got it the day before I went into labor. Yeah. Literally the day before I went we into had, labor. Uh, Culver's. Culver's and Nicole and Jonah helped us and I was 40 weeks pregnant moving this couch. Objection. No one made me. I'm just stubborn and wanted to do it because I felt great. I don't want to be feeding a, a baby on a couch that I hate. Yeah, I needed a new couch and I was very determined to have a comfortable couch. So there's that. I just got these curtains recently in a vlog. I think it was like January or December, if you guys remember. I don't I don't remember. <laughs> um, but yeah, our little couch area, IKEA, coffee table, this cute basket for our blankets. We do have a little backyard in the works, but right now we just have some patio furniture. But yeah, and this is what you see from right here. I actually love what my house looks like when I sit and look right here. That's like my favorite ever. Okay, and then right here is a mess. Like I said, we're not gonna be absolutely perfect, but this is our little dining area where Daniel works. Um, and I love this photo wall. It's been like that since we moved here. Um, again, his little workspace my, uh, yeah. where Thompson munches we've got some mail and water bottles over there my battle station 
yes and then you look this way and it's the kitchen we've had these stools since our old apartment still love them this tote has all her toys in it but we rotate them out every once in a while and then yeah nothing nothing cool about the kitchen honestly it's an outdated kitchen um, at our town home but i have my little coffee bar over here sink full of dishes pantry and trash can you know all the works huh remember when this was playing yeah two seconds ago yeah yeah all right now we'll head upstairs and i'll show you guys what's up here okay here's our little stairwell i love it i try to make it like plant flower themed and anytime i find something I have to hang it up if it goes with it so again there's my hamper ready to be washed <laughs> um but yeah so upstairs the option of going left or right to the right is thompson's nursery and honestly i can't remember if i ever did an actual nursery tour but i guess this can be it we've got some books right there some clothes that I change out, um, our dryers in there. Um, yeah, her crib, her little toy tent, stuffed animals. I love this curtain rod from Opal House at Target. Um, and I love that wall, of course. So she does love to play up here, but it's kind of turned into like a little bit of mess since she's gotten older because toys are always out and stuff. But yeah, and then her changing table, which we still use because she'll squirm around and crawl away from us or run away from us now if we change her diaper anywhere else. So, yeah, that is her nursery. And then straight ahead from her room is our room. But first, here on the right, this is our washer. Again, need to do a load today. To the left right here is another bathroom we have two bedrooms three bathrooms in this townhome Ooh, this is thompson's bathroom literally we never use it it's just for thompson it has a bathtub and um all that yeah so this is thompson's bathroom keep walking then you see our bedroom which this time of year is like my favorite place to be with the window open and the lighting in here. It's just so cozy. So here's our bedroom and we also have a bathroom. This is how it was at our old apartment where the sink was out here and then the toilet and shower is in here, which you guys don't really need to see, but toilet, shower in there. Um, but yeah, just this little, you know, classic messy sink area and then we have a decently sized closet which i'm not going to show you guys the in-depth of in here because it is a mess and that's my next project to go through my clothes again so yeah but this is what you see from over here it's literally i i love our bedroom so much i mean it's not much but i mean it's cozy and cute and yeah Again, there's our little decently sized area in our backyard. So there's the little house tour. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Those of you who have been wanting to see, it's basically just a bunch of random things I've thrifted that don't really go together, but some people call it eclectic and um, lots of plants. So yeah, we might be moving this year. So I figured it'd be time to show you guys what it looks like in here where we've been living so thank you for watching this vlog i hope you enjoyed please follow me on instagram subscribe and we will see you in the next one